young son with special needs coming home his face Ron red telling you a trusted adult slapped him on the bus ride home that is what an Aurora family is claiming tonight good evening and thanks for watching Denver 7 I'm Andrew Trujillo and I'm Mark Stewart as we come on at 5 police are backing up the boys claim that he was hit by an Aurora Public Schools paraprofessional and Denver 7 broke this story and tonight our Thomas Hoppo is looking into these allegations Thomas we understand the family's lawyer says there is video evidence as well well yes there is but before we get into what allegedly led up to that incident the family's lawyer provided us with a picture of the child's face after the slap for safety of the child we were asked to not identify him but in this picture you can clearly see a hand mark on the right side of the child's face the seven-year-old is in the special needs program at Aurora Public School yeah according to police that the child out. was allegedly slapped by his para professional while riding the bus around noon yesterday police after speaking with witnesses reviewed evidence and the lawyer said as he saw the video evidence today. It was just playful, but then suddenly um, the child uh, reaches for, it looked like uh, the head or the sunglasses of the para. The para um, gets very upset and then essentially reaches back and slaps uh, the child right across the face. Well, we were sent this uh, statement from Aurora Public Schools saying that they are investigating a report of an employee who struck one of their students. And they take this matter very seriously and they are taking the appropriate disciplinary action. And we want to emphasize that we do not tolerate inappropriate behavior by the staff. Now, as for the video evidence, we weren't able to actually get that today because the lawyer says that he has to file for that to be released. But what they want is for more protection of the child since he was afraid to get on the bus today and they want Aurora Public Schools to launch a full investigation. Thomas Hoppo, Denver 7.